packed up and we're uh, about ready to leave. Uh, the people down at the that stayed in the hut actually built a fire and just invited me down there to warm up a little bit. I'll probably just go down there and chat with them for a minute before we leave out. It's uh, almost 8.30, so pretty good start time. Just wanted to talk for a minute uh, eh, about the close out last night. Uh, yeah, like I said, great day, great views, great scenes, great things to just be exposed to. And the only downer was, uh, many of you know, uh, I have quite a knife collection and I enjoy collecting knives and many of you have gifted me knives and I truly appreciate that. And that's what I lost yesterday is a, a gift from a special friend, a knife um, uh, that, yes, upsets me. Uh, you know, knives are things that can be replaced, but to me, they represent that friendship, that camaraderie, that time spent together. And so, not that I'll ever lose that, uh, but I lost the remembrance of that. And so that's upsetting to me. So I guess I went to bed uh, last night just thinking about safeguarding how I safeguard things in my life. And I guess that'll be my, uh, my thing to ponder on today as we walk. So again, don't know what it means to you. I'm not even sure what it means to me, but I guess I'll figure it out through the day. So anyways, let's go uh, have a chat and then uh, let's get to hiking. Uh, I think uh, there's a shelter 18 miles in so I'm gonna see if we can make it to that I don't know I'm not really sure what the terrain holds so we'll see let's get at it first view of the morning very nice so uh, the couple that were at uh, the Cornelius Creek shelter uh, was the praise team. And uh, if you're not on Gut Hooks, which is an app for kind of helping you navigate the Appalachian Trail, uh, you probably don't know them. But if you are on it, you probably see their posts uh, somewhat frequently if you're in the Virginia area. Anyway, so I have been seeing their posts and so it was uh, nice to meet them, put a face to the name, had a great chat with them uh, for half an hour or so. So uh, anyways, they are from West Virginia and they got on at Winston-Salem and they're headed north to Katahdin. And then uh, once they reach that, they're gonna come back to Winston-Salem and head south to, uh, to Springer Mountain. So another, another couple that's flip-flopping and uh, we just had a good time so very glad to meet them and uh, wish them all the success in their hike and uh, look forward to uh, hopefully seeing them somewhere else along the trail uh, as uh, I get through Springer and start uh, the northern part so uh, but anyways we got to get going because it's morning and we've only been uh, about a half a mile. So let's hike on. Ah, it's not often you can see exactly where you were the day before, but uh, I just looked over and realized that uh, weather dome on top of that hill is actually Apple Orchard Mountain. Uh, that's where we were yesterday afternoon. So that's... Uh, Apple Orchard Mountain and to the left of it is Thunder Ridge. So, wow. Yeah, we came all the way across there down into that saddle and that saddle is where Cornelius Creek Shelter is. So, yeah, just interesting. Looks so far away now when uh, really it's only 
five miles away. So anyways, let's hike on. So obviously we're here at Bryant Ridge Shelter. And this is a pretty cool shelter, man. Uh, it's got like a porch. Here. And then it's got one level. Uh, that probably sleeps uh, four to five, depending on how you do it. And then it's got an overhead level. That uh, again can probably sleep, I don't know, uh, six to eight. And uh, I think I just missed one of the caretakers. There's some old fella hiking up the ridge over there as I was coming in, and he was already halfway up, so I don't even know if he's seen me, but he was obviously just out for a, a stroll, so maybe a caretaker. Anyways, a uh, nice picnic table, nice fire ring, nice shelter, uh, privy is up over there i guess uh yeah we're just gonna stop and get some water out of the creek that's right here and we're gonna keep on trucking uh but uh man this is one of the nicer shelters i've seen almost almost wish it would have worked out to where we we're staying here and on a saturday i can't believe there's not locals that are kind of camped out here over the weekend but Oh well, we're five miles into our walk today, so like I said, we got to grab some water and keep going. when you think we're making progress you look to the right in that weather dome that's up on top of apple orchard mountain is still there although it is starting to look quite a ways away so we've been uh, 11 miles today or almost 11 so but let's hike on so we can get that out of our field of view
we kind of stole those birds perch I guess we get to see what they were looking at no wonder they were sitting here very nice view this is uh, Cove Mountain Shelter uh, we're not going to go down there but you can see uh, picnic table, fire ring, standard shelter that seems to sleep about four or five privy on the far side. Uh, the issue with this one uh, is there's no water to be had in close proximity to it. So uh, if you're just trying to get out of the weather uh, or you're eating lunch, it's a good shelter. Uh, but if you're staying the night, you better make sure you plan ahead so you arrive here with uh, plenty of water. Uh, but again, we're not staying here. Just an update for fellow hikers and uh, let's hike on. <music> Well, I think we're doing pretty good. We're uh, closing in on 15 on the day. Uh, we still got four more to go to the Bobbit shelter. Uh, and I think we're, I think we've got to kind of go to that. Cause as I look at the map, it appears that's the next water source. <laughs> We uh, need water, and so, like it or not, I think we're going to end up walking uh, straight up till near dark, if not dark, so, I guess those are the breaks of through hiking, so, anyways, pretty good trail, hopefully we'll be alright, we can start making up some time, a couple tough hills back there slowed us down but uh, like I said got, we're on a good trail now so let's just hope it keeps up hey everybody so we're a quarter mile outside of the Bobbit Gap shelter where we're going to spend the night and uh, it's a little after 7 so we should get in there, I think by quarter after seven. Um, but that's close to Hiker Midnight. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Hiker Midnight's eight o'clock. And uh, that's cause after walking all day, most hikers like to get to bed relatively early and get up and walk the next day. So. I uh, already know there's someone at the shelter, so I don't know how settled in he is yet. And so, probably going to do somewhat of a wrap up right now while we're closing, doing the final closing on it. So, good day. We'll end up with 19 miles hike. And, uh, yeah, got a uh, couple good views. Uh, I guess the biggest thing I'm thinking is uh, we've seen five uh, through hikers, uh, two that started in Georgia, and uh, three that are flip flopping from different places. And so through hikers are starting to come. I don't think we'll hit the main of them for another probably two weeks, uh, but point is. Uh, we're starting to see them coming north, so that's only going to increase over time. So. But, uh, good day, and uh, 
we'll look forward to tomorrow. So uh, if I don't see you again, then see you in the morning.